Hello, everyone. I hope everyone is doing okay. I am working on a new journal. Right now, I called it Hummingbird, but I don't know if that name is going to stick because it's not just Hummingbird theme. I'm using a additional kit from Louise Hensel, and the kit is called Hummingbird Diner or Dinner. And to make it easy on me, that's normally what I will uh, call my journals because I'm terrible at names. It's like all my cats I have named Misty. That's it. I can't think of a new name. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not sure what this journal will be called for right now. It's just called Hummingbirds. Um, I am doing it a little bit different on this journal. Normally I will make all the ephemera and then start attaching it into the book. And right now I'm kind of going page by page and making things for, you know, a page as I have ideas coming. So here I'm using a, a page out of an old garden, gardening book. And I uh, ran a, a little piece of card through my embossing folder. And I'm using three different shades of blue to kind of go over it lightly and give it some color. I went ahead and uh, it finally clicked in my head not too long ago that if you use more than one color, then it won't look so flat. And I think that's why I wasn't liking a lot of stuff I made because it was just one color. So I'm trying to learn to use more than one in the things that I make. And it does give it more depth. So I'm just using my art glitter glue to attach this to the page. And I'm kind of doing this page on the fly. I thought I had known what I was going to do. You know, I pulled up things that I wanted to use. And then somewhere through it, you know, things kind of changed. Which is fine. <laughs> uh, see, like I had colored these two pieces of uh, fabrics. Not fabrics, but laces using the Distress Oxides, the same three colors that I used to uh, color this pocket. And then I start changing my mind. This book, I love the pages. It is so brittle. Look at that. You just bend it. You don't have to tear it. <laughs> that just makes it harder to glue, though, and I can't, uh, you know, do the edging because <laughs> it already has that natural edging. I love it. And... Right now I'm searching, I, in my mind I wanted um, some cheesecloth. And I thought I had some of a particular blue, which I couldn't find. I'll probably find it later. And so I decided, well, let me just go ahead and color some more. And so I'm going to be using some of that Distress, o Distress Oxide, I'm sorry. I haven't talked in a few days. <laughs> Probably a week or more since my last video. <laughs> and uh, so that's all I'm doing. I'm squishing it down, adding water, and making sure I add water to the gauze or the cheesecloth. And trying to get it to a, a color that I liked. I didn't want a dark, dark color because I wanted some different shades of blue. And those are my blue fingers waving high. <laughs> It comes off in a couple of days, I don't mind. I've got artist fingers, I'm proud. Yay! So, I'm finally searching for things. See, I was gonna use some uh, washi tape down the side of the page, but I didn't quite have the shade. Of course, that's always a problem, right? You don't have the shade that you want. I've got a drawer full of them. <laughs> and then I look to my right, and I'm like, hey, I've got two bookcases full of fabric. And sure enough, I found uh, some fabric with the color that I liked. And it has flowers, which kind of goes with the page. So I'm just ripping off this first strip just to get a, even out my edge. And I'm going to tear another strip. And this strip should be even. There we go. I remember I spent like two, three days ironing and folding all my fabrics <laughs> to make it nice and neat and they're all folded the same way 
So now I can find them quickly. So it helps. I really love being able to use all of my uh, other crafting items when I make these junk journals. That way they're not going to waste. Someday I'll get into quilting again. But right now, all my junk journal stuff is on my cutting table, so <laughs> I'd have to take everything off just to cut my fabric. <laughs> uh, so here I'm deciding that I needed a flower, and this is my little flower bucket. And I thought one of the flowers in here would be okay, but I think it was too much on the green, aquash side. So then I remembered I have some of these other flowers um, in my kind of sticker uh, basket. Things that have, you know, a sticky side to them. I have those in a separate basket. And then I thought, well, what would happen if I go ahead and make it a little darker, you know, two-toned? <laughs> like I said, I was experimenting with, you know, more than one shade here. And I didn't like that, so I thought, well, let's just see if it'll smear, you know, when she wet it, which I knew it does, um, because it's uh, the Distress Oxide. So I get that to where I like it. And things are still evolving. Um, here, I think I need a little tag, a label. These are the Tracy Fox uh, Love Junk Journal. Uh, Little nature definitions, I believe, is what the, they're called. And I should just leave that zipper pouch out because I'm going to be using quite a bit probably for this journal. I'm still not sure what direction I want this journal to go. Normally I have a lot of different papers in it. Um, and right now I just have the digital kit papers and coffee stain papers. And this is the first, you know other kind of paper I have. So I guess we'll just see, you know, how it turns out. I just wanted to do a little different. You know, I was doing a lot of tucks and flips and secret spots and maybe this one I wanted to just try to decorate a page and make it pretty. You know, it was still with tags, but a lot of writing room. So we'll see what I come up with. It's a journey. <laughs> so. And one of the great things I love about junk journaling and art journaling is there is no right or wrong. You know, I can always uh, start over. I can always use different pages. And sorry for the photo bomb. Oh, I think there's going to be a headshot coming up. Yep. There it is. <laughs> like, I know I have a little snippet. It's just like, where is it? Where is it? That one wasn't it, but I ended up coloring that one, too. I thought I had, like, little pieces of snippets, and this is my little snippet container. So I finally find it. <laughs> I had already colored it for a different um, journal, probably the Mermaid Journal, with the color that it is. I just wanted a little lace snippet, you know, a little applique something. And there it is. So on this page, even when I think I'm done, I'm not done, and I keep turning the camera back on. <laughs> so here are a couple of tags that I made out of recycled packaging. And I followed someone's tutorial and I believe I was used, you know, scrunched up some of uh, the napkin on it. And it came out, you know, all brown and stuff, which is great for my finished journals. But this one I went ahead and sprayed a bit with the Lindy's. And I sprayed it on blue and it came out green because I think they're too toned, which is fine. Um, but I was just showing you that's what I was using. And I was just adding some Tim Holtz little flowers. And here I'm getting some yarn for the top of the tag. I was trying to look through things that I had, you know, experimented and finally used them up. Although this kit does 
come with, you know, some tags and some pockets, I did want to try to, you know, use up scrap stuff, um, other things, you know, where I was decorating, not just, you know, something was being decorated for me. And here's a, a long, narrow tag I had made for another project, but it, it didn't fit in there. But this little thing did. I had decoupaged a napkin onto this piece of paper to use as a, a writing page. And so I think it matched the blue theme. So here I think I'm done. And then I'm like, no, it needs something else on the back. <laughs> so I added in a doily that I had coffee stained. And that's going to be my last piece. I think it just added a little bit extra to the page. Now the page next to it will probably be blank, you know, and have the writing space. But there's no guarantee. I make no promises. <laughs> there's no telling where my brain will go. But I do have to leave writing space since um, this will be a, bit, a little bit different. And this is about it, folks. Um, I'm glad you joined me on my little crafting journey, and I hope it gives you a little inspiration. I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. It is Monday. So thank you for watching. Love you. Bye-bye.